Well, we're following another big national story, a shooter on the rampage attacking dozens last night in a mass shooting. Those living in Lewiston, Maine, where the attack happened, were told to shelter in place after the gunman went on the run. As it turns out, Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson is all too familiar with the small northern city as it is located not far from where he attended college a few years back. WREG's Dorita Patterson spoke with the lawmaker who says this is yet another reminder regarding the impact of gun violence within our community and across the country. Memphis to Maine is separated by nearly 1,500 miles, but it's a place that will forever be near and dear to Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson. It really is uh, heart-wrenching and devastating uh, that this is happening but also for it to be in a place where I went to school, went to college in Maine. You see, he spent his college years in Brunswick, Maine, less than 20 miles outside Lewiston, a small community of less than 40,000, according to the latest census, now at the center of the nation's latest mass shooting. This is not okay. It is not normal, and it is not the way that things have to be. Especially knowing those shot by the lone gunman were taking part in something that is so normal. Enjoying Wednesday night at a restaurant in Bowling Alley when chaos suddenly erupted. We should be safe going bowling or to the movie theater or to church or to school or to a bank. And it's the responsibility of people in government to do something to prevent these tragedies from happening in the first place. Representative Pearson points to the Tennessee special session held in August, just five months after the deadly Covenant school shooting outside Nashville that claimed the lives of six, three children and three adults. This has been an extremely violent year. In fact, here locally, NPD recently reported a 25% increase in murders alone. We experience gun violence nearly every single day in the city. And nationally, this latest round of violence that claimed the lives of more than a dozen with many more injured marks the 565th mass shooting for the year across the nation, according to the Gun Violence Archive. 18 funerals at least are about to happen in Maine. The angst and anxiety those in Maine are experiencing is felt much too often on the streets of Memphis. Representative Pearson tells us in spite of unmistakable fear, there's also undeniable faith, which he is tapping into more than ever, he explains. I encourage everybody to pray, but also to do the work of justice and helping to end this gun violence epidemic. Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. We reached out to the Shelby County Republican headquarters to see if they wanted to issue any statement. We'll let you know once we hear back. At last checked, a widespread manhunt was still underway for the gunman who police have identified as 40-year-old Robert Card.